Sometimes you will have more than one unknown number in an equation. Imagine you are on holiday by the coast. There are 120 guests staying at your hotel. But how many are adults and how many are children? Both these numbers are unknown. But we can write an equation to calculate the numbers. Let's use the letter A to represent adults and the letter C to represent children. We know that the number of adults, A, plus the number of children, C, equals 120 guests. A plus C equals 120. That's our equation. We still can't work out what A and C definitely are, because in an equation like this, they can be many numbers. All we know is that together, they make 120. But if we know the value of one of the unknowns, we can find the value of the other. So if we know that there are 40 adults staying at the hotel, we can use that information to work out how many children there are. Let's look at the scales. A plus C equals 120. First we'll swap A for 40, which is the number of adults. 40 plus C equals 120. Now we can isolate C by getting rid of the 40. We do the inverse and subtract 40 on this side of the scale. But now the scale is tipping to one side. To balance it out again, we have to do the same operation on the other side of the equal sign. 120 minus 40 equals 80. C equals 80. That's how many children there are at the hotel. We can check the answer is correct by looking back at the original equation and swapping the letters for the numbers. 40 plus 80 equals 120. Yes, it was right. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more. And if you liked our free resource, show your appreciation by giving it a thumbs up.